Adding a new service in activity management, event management, all relies on the sales category. So you can see what sales categories will pull their items into activity management by going to event management, then service types. Choose the service type that you're looking to add the new service item into. And then under the tab that's sales item categories, you'll be able to see which categories are checked off to be eligible for this service type. So for the purposes of this webinar, what I'll do is create an open bar service. So if I'm creating open bar service, I'm going to look at the beverage service type and see that event beverage as a category is flagged as eligible for this service type. So what I'll do is go into Core Jonas, I'll go to Point of Sale System, System Setup, and then Sales Categories. Off of my list of sales categories, I'll choose Event Beverage. And just to confirm that it is eligible for activity management, I'll go to Other Modules. And then right here where it says Activity Management Category, Event Beverage Service Category, that's how I know that it, this item or any item that will be in this category will be eligible as a beverage service in Event Management. There are also options here for food service, as well as other services, so for things that are not food or beverage. Now that I know my category is set up properly, I can go ahead and go to Point of Sale, System Setup, and then Sales Items, and create my new sales item. So your best bet when creating a sales item is looking at like items to figure out what code you should be using. So for example, it looks like my event items, I'll start with EV, and my next available number is EVB, 008 so event beverage 008 so I'll set up another sales item key in the event beverage 008 code and then go ahead and put in my description so this description is what you see on your reports it's also what will pull into the event order so I will key in here open bar if I hit enter, it will take that description and drop it into the chit description line. And chit description is what your members see on their receipts. It's also what your kitchen would see on the prep request if you were to send this item to the kitchen. Next up, we have button description one and two, which is what your servers will see if they're ringing this item through on the point of sale. These are smaller because they do have to appear on a small point of sale button, but you get two lines. Then we have the sales category, and the sales category is what we just found out is eligible for beverage. So here's where I'll choose that category that I saw was flagged as an event beverage in the other modules tab. You can key in a price or you could leave it at zero if the price is dependent on the event. And then from there you just have to say okay to save your item. Once your item is created, you can go back into your activity management system and what we need to do to get our new item into our event management program is run what we call an integration. So you run an integration by going to system administration and then integration. So this is what takes all of the items from Core Jonas and pulls them into the activity management system. If you're in a hurry, what you can do is click advanced options and actually unselect everything except for POS items and POS categories. So that means it does not have to run through and sync everything from Jonas, just the POS items. Hit the gear with the play button to start the import process. Hit yes to confirm that you do want to update your files. And you'll get a lot of little confirmation that your synchronization process has started down in the bottom corner. Once completed, you'll get a pop-up just like this one that says the process has been completed successfully. Hit OK. And now all we need to do is go and confirm that our item is in the system. So to confirm that our new item has made it into the system, what I'll do is check out one of my events and make sure that I can see it under the services tab. So I'll open up one of my events, go to services, and if you recall, I created a beverage service. So I'll go under my beverage service type and look for the sales item EVB008, which is the one that I created. There's my new service ready to be used.